Hey everyone, welcome back to Tragic MTG. Well, here's the story about how this almost didn't happen for me. We started bidding on this awesome lot from Shop Goodwill for 150 plus Magic Beta Edition cards. Near Mint Light Play. That really got my attention and uh, several other bidders. Um, it got bid up quite high. Um, the thing that happened was I actually lost this. Someone bid higher than me. And, okay, fine. Go home, lick my wounds, and uh, move on to the next thing. Um, a, almost a week later, I happened to be looking at my other orders from Shop Goodwill, and I saw that this order was um, awarded to me, and I had about six hours left to pay for it, or it was going to be gone. I'm like, what? So I look into the message, and sure enough, the, the someone at the uh, San Francisco Goodwill who definitely knows their magic cards and we've actually communicated a bit before says hey you got a second chance the the original winner backed out on the purchase and so they they drop when that happens on an auction typically you drop that down to just above the next lowest bidder um, which brought the total price for this lot to 42.71 plus some shipping and some tax it actually was ended up being about uh, 4650 was the total I paid for this so this right here is more of an acquisition for me uh, it's definitely there's a random aspect to this like I like to do I like to gamble on these uh, but this was all laid out you can see exactly all the cards that are in here and you can see them scrolling by if you got a keen eye the gamble here is the condition if you added all of these up just at face value um, I'm pretty confident that I am right where I need to be on the price but when you take condition into account with them being hopefully near mint mostly we can get that bump up there so we're gonna compare pricing to what sold uh, near mint uh, pricing would be for these cards I'm gonna go through these and check the condition and see um, these are gonna be kind of a long-term hold for me just like Rudy does he's not letting go any of those I'm gonna start doing the same I want a collection of beta in good condition I've started to, to buy some graded stuff I might actually see if there's any of these that are good enough to get graded um, so wish me luck here we're gonna go through that and we'll keep a running total all right you know it's serious when the blue gloves come out you know I've only ever worn these for spoofs before you can check that out uh, but this time it's the real deal I actually do not want to touch these beta cards uh, that might be in really good condition with my bare hands, so I am going to use the blue gloves. Uh, fun times. The opening is always priceless and everything like that. So let's do it. Uh, okay. This is the binder. Let's get into it. So I don't know anything about, and of course the Goodwill would not have known anything about where these came from. They were just donated. So it's really hard to tell if they were cracked recently and then put away and then somehow lost control of and given to the thrift store or if they've just been sitting in this binder for many years you can see the indentations from the binder rings here hopefully there's none on the cards so I'm just gonna pull out a couple of these and I'm gonna keep a running total somewhere of these I'm not gonna use the scanner this time um, I'll just do it the hard way but I do just want to kinda like pull these out so like you can tell Right off the bat, this planes is like way off center, right? So you probably wouldn't want to send this one in for grading. It's still very nice condition. Got a couple, like a little nick on the top there. Um, slight little punch out. So I've noticed when I've seen beta cars before, the, the punching system always kind of left, well not always, but sometimes left, um, like a little raised um, punch out on the corner. So I, I feel like it's factory. Um, it shouldn't count against a card like this. The back looks immaculate. These have never been played. These literally got pulled out of a pack and put into these um, binders. So that's great. It's awesome. There's nine of them right there. Um, I don't think any of these would be double pocketed. I imagine the Goodwill would have found those. So mostly going to be commons and uncommons, but Animate Wall is a rare. So that is one that will... Um, probably trend a little higher than the rest of like circle protection blue the bandless hero is awesome but let's just pop that out take a look and uh, very carefully do that so uh, beta rares um, 
even if they're not the super greatest rares they're still desirable um, this one has a little nick on there and a little nick in there so this is not going to pull like a 9.5 or anything right um, it's got like a little uh, bend on that side so you know maybe we pull a 9.0 maybe a 8.5 I don't know would it be worth it so I'm really have to do my due diligence um, feel free to weigh in down below because I'm really an amateur I've never sent anything for grading I've just started to buy a few graded cards um, this one I imagine you would say is not worth grading you can see kind of the dings up there in the top but still beautiful card and for the age of what it is never being played just raw as a this is technically still near mint I would say um, we'll get a value based on uh, you know sold eBay uh, listings here and we'll, we'll do that for each page as we go here we go circle protection red circle protection green black so nice little uh, collection here basically it looks like this was an attempt at a collection it's in alphabetical order that kind of makes sense right um, so all your white cards right here in, in alphabetical order uh, disenchant is a classic consecrate land I can't remember this might be an uncommon um, holy strength a couple of two holy armors right so someone was a collector I wonder if this has been in this binder for 20 some years there we go there's a white knight and then we're into some islands so let's check out this white knight this is a good uncommon this is one that would be you know desirable you can see there's like a little I don't know if you can see it I can see there's a little spot right there something got on it at one point but otherwise still in very 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 good condition got like a little roller line there so you know whatever the price of this card is um, on an average it could exceed that just as a raw card um, again tell me what do you think down below is that one gradable here's some beautiful islands um, the dark Sunset purple sunset. I think is probably the most desirable. This one's definitely like off-center. This one kind of looks a little better And I don't know if you would really want to grade islands. I mean, I guess you can I've seen them for sale on eBay quite a bit um, and um, I've heard talk Speculation that someday even just raw ungraded ones like these could be worth a hundred bucks each at some point and if that's the case then I'll definitely be hanging on to these till that time frame. Um, currently, they are worth about that. Air Elemental, I uh, cannot remember if that's an uncommon or not, um, but again, they're, these are all unplayed near mint. Got a couple of blue Elemental Blasts, got a Creature Bond, two Creature Bonds, Flight, Invisibility, Jump, couple of life taps um, I want to say invisibility is an uncommon but I'm not positive there we go so a couple of phantasmal terrains psychic venom so let's see this steel artifact is a uh, very very nice condition it does just have some minor little nicks there and one down here so again this one would probably not pull a 9.5 right I think the centering is off. I'm no good at looking at it. I've always seen Dan hold them upside down like that. Um, so feel free. Tell me what I'm missing down below. <laughs> Got some swamps. There we go. So this is a card here that I was actually considering buying slabbed. I, I really am interested in like the classic art cards from Beta that you know when I was first getting into this game many years ago about stronghold era you'd look at the price guide and you see oh man some of these cards are worth a bit but in addition to that just some of the some of the artworks just classic this is one I would consider a classic bog wraith is a classic I'm interested in collecting the classic ones I'm at this point a beta black lotus is out of my reach the moxes are out of my reach so last year I bought a PSA 9 I'm sorry, BGS9 Time Vault um, before the prices went really crazy. 
And I also got a Nightmare, which is another one that I consider to be very classic art. This is one of my favorite cards of all time, just art-wise. Um, so I was very lucky to pick those up before. They essentially have doubled in price since then. And like I said, the uh, you know other big cards, the Power Knives, are, they're really out of my reach. So I'm mainly interested in collecting kind of the lower-end commons and uncommons that I find to be classic. Um, so there should be a Llanowar Elves in there and stuff like that. So I'll call them out as I see them. Um, again, the Bog Wraith, really nice. Frozen Shade, another one that I would say is classic art. Um, <clears throat> and some other nice commons here. Paralyze, Howl from Beyond. Simulacrum, classic. There we go, Sinkhole. So as far as common commons go, that's one of the better ones. It's um, probably not on... Uh, lightning bolt level, but it's pretty nice. So it's got like a little bit of white marks up in the top left quadrant there. Those almost look like printing defects. They do not look like some kind of out. Oh, there is like a little chippy on the bottom. So again, not gradable, but um, just still raw. Uh, would still go for quite a bit. We got terror. Got the original Unholy Strength artwork, and now into the mountains. And more mountains. So this one has some, a little bit of problem going on with it. So this one almost looks like a tape pull. Um, maybe tape touched that and got pulled off at some point. Um, that's a big thing in the comic book grading world like your tape will touch it and just pull the color right off um, other than that it's pretty nice burrowing definitely a lower end common disintegrate warriors false orders is I don't know if that's reserve list because it's a common but it, I don't think it's ever been printed again and it has uh yeah, I don't know. Has it been printed again? I guess I'll have to look that up. Um, Fireball. Very classic. Red burn spell right there. And this one, um, yeah, bad centering right at the top, you can see. So it was, I think, extremely difficult to get, uh, you know, 10 centering, 9.5 centering, I imagine. I, I've seen people talk about that anyway. That is a biggie, Grey Ogre. Got some red elemental blast. Look at the difference in the, like the ink coloration between this red card and this red card, right? So the red elemental blasts, something with the, the border, being, much darker. Into some forests. Christopher Rush art on all of these forests looks like and just to double check amazing condition a little yep there was a little white speck on there it came right off so eventually I will uh, probably re um, home these into like a different binder uh, probably put them into top loaders or the ones that are going to get sent off for grading, I think they want them to be put into like a different type of top loader, the one that has like the little tab at the top. Here we got some craw worms and some fogs. Giant spider, there's a classic, and a couple of grizzly bears, so pretty dece. There we go. So of these. I think they're all commons. Maybe the hurricane, I'll have to double check. The Llanowar Elves is what I consider to be a classic. So if you got into magic in the 90s, like I did, and you saw, you know, Llanowar Elves was printed a few times after this, I think in fourth, fifth, and sixth edition, maybe. And it's just that artwork. You would see it all, you know, any, any of the magazines, it was just used a lot. Um, and so to me, it's a classic. And again, the centering is off, but I'm happy to have it. 
Uh, this is one that I would have was going to collect anyway. I might still just go ahead and try to get a slabbed one that's in good condition um, for my collection. Life force. Yeah, just single. All right, so tranquility, tsunami, a couple of wild growths, cover tablet. So library of Lang is an uncommon. It should be worth a little bit. It is in very nice condition. Just at the top, a couple of pretty minor little nicks. They're very minor. Good looking card right there. And Living Wall, Rot of Ruin. And then uh, this is the last page, just a few Arabian Nights cards. Uh, I'm not sure if any of these are that big of an issue, but I'll check on those as well. So there you have it. That's my big pickup from Goodwill. And down here at the bottom, we'll see a total.